Hello little hoes! My name is Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I haven't been feeling great the past couple of days, hence why I sound so congested. Uh, haven't felt like doing much, but today I woke up feeling quite a bit better and decided to do this video on my latest plant purchases. Now, the last two plants have been in the last couple of weeks. And then the first one, I think I bought it sometime in January, but they're my first plant purchases of 2021, if you can believe that. I haven't really purchased a lot over the winter, just because I didn't feel like it. I was focusing on maintenance and wanted to save up for some more international plant purchases, which I did the other day. Um, and probably in a couple of weeks you'll be seeing that video of me unboxing it. I'm so excited. A couple of them are wish list plants. Just I'm just gonna say that and leave it. This is the first plant that I got. Um, this is a Neptithus, even though it says Syngonium. I believe that Neptithus is the correct term for it. Uh, I didn't learn until just recently the differences between it. I finally was just like, well, what is it? Why are they that different? And it turns out Neptithus are uh, from South Africa, where actual Syngoniums are from South America. thought that was kind of interesting. So I'm pretty sure this isn't a Syngonium, but a Neptithus. This is Regina Red. And most Regina Reds are going to have leaves like this, but I picked this particular one out because it had kind of splashiness to one of the leaves, and I thought it was cool. I was in a mood to treat myself to a plant, so I picked it up, and then this leaf came out, which I really like the splashes on it. And I like it better, dare I say, than just the plain pink-ish leaf. I don't know. I've never thought I would get one of these plants. I haven't really cared for that pinkish kind of dishwatery color. But I, again, was in the mood to buy a plant and kind of wanted to challenge myself to get plants that I either don't think I'll do well with or haven't liked or held some prejudice for and give it a whirl. And this was, this was it. So I'm loving it so far, very easy. I have it in the grow tent right now, just so I can plop it under my um, grow light to maybe intensify it. But now I'm thinking I might wanna find a spot for it in my sunroom, because I think it will tolerate the drier conditions just fine. Second plant, and I am a sucker for aloes and agaves. This is an agave Victoria Regine. And I've noticed these guys before, never thought I would really own one, even though I've always kind of wanted one. And a local guy that supplies the store I work at with a lot of cacti, succulents, and other plants had this specimen in his collection and brought it to us and I snagged it. I, it was a little expensive, it was like 30 bucks, but you know, it's obviously kind of a specimen plant and it's probably taking quite a while to reach this size and maturity so I didn't feel bad picking it up. The spikes however are killer. I uh, impaled myself on it naturally the day we got them in and I'm not saying I use the excuse that there's blood all over the plant and obviously it's not sanitary to sell it as reason to buy it but I maybe I maybe did. I maybe justified it <laughs> my purchase. Um, yeah, so care on this guy, I think it's going to be pretty minimal as it is with most aloes and agaves. Um, I also learned something interesting too, is that aloes are repeat blooming plants where agaves or century plants, uh, don't flower frequently, but once they do, the plant will die. And I believe that's called monocarpic plant when their sole purpose in life 
is to set flowers and seeds and then die. So yeah, um, he's right here living now on this little side table I have. He was kind of saturated when I got him, so I'm just kind of letting him dry out and do his thing. I really love that, the white patterning on it. And I've told you guys multiple times that my wish list, it waxes and wanes like the moon. And sometimes I'm really into something and it's top of my wish list and other times something else replaces it. So yeah, I've gone through a couple phases where I've kind of wanted to try out more skindapsis, sometimes called wrongly apothos. It is its own thing, a skindapsis. I do have one and it did amazing for a number of years. It had it in the kitchen trailing around the windowsill in there, but then I had to take it out um, and repot it and that kind of shocked it. So it's recovering, it's just not doing great. And again, I've been seeing a lot of skindapsis and being very intrigued by them. So when these showed up yesterday, which I ordered. I don't know why I'm saying it like I'm surprised they showed up, but <laughs> when these showed up yesterday, I had to pick one up. This is a silvery drop soil all over the floor. Um, this is a silvery Ann skindapsis. And when it is a little bit more mature, the leaves mature, they will almost look like they've been dipped in silver. The tip and edges will just be coated in that silver while the top will remain somewhat more mottled. I am very excited about this plant. And yes, I did repot it in way, 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 way too big of a pot, but um, where I'm gonna be putting it is going to be in that macrame hanger in the living room and I probably won't get to water it super frequently. It's out of the way enough that my lazy self will probably underwater it, if anything. So I'm optimistic that it will be just fine in this pot. It's not too wide, but it's definitely too deep. Boyfriend made this pot, and I thought it was kind of a cool combination with that silvery green and the silvery green pot. Yeah. Um, Definitely needed something vining in that macrame, and I think this one will do pretty good. Okay, I feel kind of embarrassed. I forgot that I bought another plant probably a month ago now, and yeah, it's this awesome Euphorbia trigona rubra, I believe. And I picked this up. I don't know why there's crunchy leaves here, but there are probably some stress. I saw this and was immediately turned on, quite frankly. It's so cool. Uh, I really love the candelabra appearance of this specimen. I do have a tiny little baby that's been slow growing, hasn't done a whole lot. And I was debating, do I really need a second one? But it turns out I really did. <laughs> I like the structure of this and I think it adds a pop of color to my bench over here. So yeah, that is actually the fourth plant that I bought uh, this year so far. That is literally going to be the video guys. Kind of a quick one, but I really felt in the mood to do it. I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to hear what plants you guys have been buying lately. If you've made any international purchases, found anything cool locally, any swaps, trades, I would love to hear what you guys got. So comment below. As always, stay safe, healthy, and safe, and I will talk to y'all real soon.